I think we are interested in the city, we love the city, uh, but we don't want to start from scratch. Uh, urbanism hmm? uh, is about creating potential. Architecture is about exploiting potential. And uh, what is fascinating for me now that we are involved both in architecture and in urbanism is to discover that they really are totally different things. That architecture tries to define, tries to limit, tries to exclude other possibilities. If you do an architecture, you are forced not only to say what this specific thing is, but by saying what it is, you also exclude everything it cannot be. And I think that is uh, interesting about urbanism. Urbanism is just creating potential, saying this should happen, but maybe this should happen, and this can also happen here. So you simply make a kind of very compact or intense version of things that are uh, possible. You enable something, and then the architect comes and takes something away from that uh, um, potential that you have accumulated and makes his own s exclusive statement. And so, therefore, I think that our, uh, urbanism is fundamentally generous and, and architecture is fundamentally egotistical in that sense. What a, what a script writer does is uh, to invent a series uh, or a sequence of events and, and episodes and what a good script writer does is to imagine uh, a suspenseful sequence uh, which uh, makes mo uh, more of his material than you would otherwise uh, uh, think. And I think that uh, in that sense, I don't see uh, architecture or urbanism as uh, fundamentally an issue of design, but also uh, as the imagining of a number of episodes within a building or within a city, and uh, uh, the establishment of kind of relationships between them, or the separation of relationships between them, because connections are very important, but breaks are also very important, or ruptures. And so for me, uh, the two are actually amazingly close in terms of the kind of inner workings of the profession. What we are witnessing now is that there is a kind of much more dispersed sense uh, of the city and that maybe the greatest city uh, at this moment can be a city where there is a kind of maximum comfort and where people are in a way liberated from an overly strong and domineering uh, identity. We are challenging uh, the situation uh, uh, cities in, in a way maybe most strongly by being able to work with uh, the situation uh, as it exists. I think that is uh, in a way our strongest force to uh, read uh, existing situations in a creative way and then find within them the arguments for uh, connecting new architectures uh, to them. And so this ability to read the existing situation, I would say, is a new thing uh, in, in my generation, but also something that is particular to our office.